Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering Bongar Gumere. So today we'll be doing sequence number 12. Okay, so let me read the statement for you. It says that uh, when the start button is activated, motor 1 must start rotating. And then 10 seconds after motor 1 has started rotating, motor 2 must start rotating automatically and motor 1 must stop rotating automatically. Then 10 seconds after motor 2 has started rotating, it must stop automatically. Okay. So now, let me zoom in, and then let's go down. Okay, so this is motor 1 and this is motor 2, right? Okay, so we say when you press this start button, your motor 1 must start rotating automatically. Then after 10 seconds, it must stop and motor 2 must start rotating at the same time. And then after 10 seconds, motor 2 has started rotating. We want it to stop also. Okay, so this is uh, the control circuit. We've got KM1, timer 1, KM2, and timer 2. So remember that KM1 is for motor 1 and uh, KM2 is for motor 2. And these are delay on timers okay yeah these are delay on timers remember a delay on timer works in such a way that when you energize it it starts uh, to count and then after preset a time or when it finished counting that's when it start to change uh, its contacts so normal open will become normal close and normal close will become normal open vice versa okay so let me explain what's happening here when you press this start button KM1 will become energized and your timer will become energized. Your 13 and 14 retainer will become a close contact here. So what happens is that your motor 1 will start rotating. But now after 10 seconds here it will become an open contact. But here it will become a close contact so that your motor 2 uh, start rotating and your motor 1 stops rotating. What stops motor 1 from rotating is this normally close of timer 1 in such a way that after 10 seconds when your timer has been energized, this time 1 has been energized, here it becomes a normal open to stop motor 1 and here normally close to start motor 2. And when motor 2 starts, also your timer 2 starts, which is a delay on timer. After 10 seconds, this normally close become a normal open and that's a line which goes to uh, your neutral. You can see your neutral here. And remember, for a coil to be energized, for a coil to be energized, it needs to receive both power from A1 and A2. So when one of them is not connected, then the coil won't be energized, okay? So now let me explain it a little bit in, an, uh, in a different way. When you press this start button, power will try to come here and it will energize came one it will also come here to energize timer 2, but when it goes like this, it won't be able to energize KM2 and T2 because of this open loop. But after 10 seconds, this timer 1 will, uh, will change its contact. So here it will become a closed contact, so power will be able to come and energize these two. And when uh, this timer is finished counting, also here it becomes a normal open to stop KM1, but to start KM2 and timer 2 okay and remember with retainers when your immediately when this coil energizes here it becomes a retainer it closes it becomes a normal close contact and when it stops it becomes a normal open contact but when this one starts here it becomes a normally closed contact okay so i've explained now let's uh, go online so let me press the start button Okay, just one moment. Uh, okay, I've pressed the start button and what happens is that your motor is rotating. You can see your motor there is rotating. CKM1 is energized and uh, timer 1 is also energized. And your timer is counting. You can see that it's counting. It's busy counting. It's busy counting, you see, it's busy counting. And then after preset time, we want uh, year to become closed and year to be open. So we'll see. 
I just wait one second and yes our came to is energized and our timer two is energized and our timer one remains energized so we see that motor two is running but motor one has stopped why because of when this one finished counting here it changed contacts but you can see timer two is counting so that it can open here to stop your neutral so we can see you can see still counting still counting and then that's it contacts that uh, they have stopped okay so now let's start fresh let me just press the start button again motor one is rotating power is always trying to come and energize these two but yeah this normal open it's refusing so we want this one to finish counting so that it can become a closed uh, contact so that it can be able to energize these two and then it must open here also so that this one can stop and those ones they start okay it's just a matter of time now and you can see your retainer also is retaining and this one will be our retainer after this one no longer retains okay and then you've got it our timer 2 has started counting is on 4 now we try to zoom in and you will see clearly our motor 2 is rotating and then we can see that after preset time here it will become an open contact in such a way yeah, to prevent uh, neutral on the side of your A2s okay and any second now we should have uh, our our timer finishing to count and that's it so thank you for watching if you've got any questions don't forget to put them on the comment section and then you can stop the video try to pause it and understand the diagram okay so just a, a recap for the diagram this is your main circuit uh, side for motor one and side for motor two you have contactor one, contactor two, overload one, overload two, motor one, motor two. And then these are your 95 and 96 of your overload one and overload two. That's your emergency stop and that's your stop button and that's your start button. And my start button, I've linked uh, both retainers on one start button. So thank you for watching and let's meet on the next video. Sharp, sharp.